Hi, Mayor. Hey, Chris. Always good to see you. Great to see you too. Happy to have you here today. Yes, thank you for inviting us to be here today. I'm so excited. Yes, this so is going to be a really fun day. This is going to be fun. So what are we going to be talking about today? So we're at our Purple Martin colony. Yeah. Now, usually this colony is 10 to 15 yeah. feet up in the air, but we brought it down mm -hmm. because we're going to check it today. We're going to open cool. up these gourds and see what's happening inside. Cool, let's do it. All I right. can't wait, I can't wait. Okay, so the first thing is when we're checking the gourds, never look in the hole. If there's still a bird in there, it's coming out right at your eye. So we've got nice access on the side. And so we're just going to open this side up okay. and Sure enough, we've got something in there. Oh, how about that? So, so do we have to record what we find? Sure. So okay. we check our gourds every mm -hmm. five to seven days. We okay. record what's in there, if there's eggs or young, and then we age the youngs, which I'm going to have you help me do right okay. now. Okay. So I'm going to pull one of the birds out. Nice. A lot of times you'll hear not to touch baby birds because the parents will abandon them. Oh, look at that. But the birds don't have a great sense of smell not like we have a developed sense of smell so okay. they actually can't smell you on on the babies so they're not going to abandon the nest if you touch okay. them best thing is always to put them back in the nest All right. but what we can do with these is we can actually age them how about that okay so it looks like we have a nine day nine. old okay nice and then in here he's got a total of five nine day old young okay Want to look at another one? Yeah, let's do that. That is so cool to see though. Yeah. So in this one, it's a little bit different. Okay. I think that is so cool. Can I hold that? Sure. That? Wow, look at that. We've got a total of four eggs in here. What's unique about Purple Martins is they're only laying one egg at sunrise and they don't start incubating until the next to last egg. Wow. I know, we've, there's a lot of research on purple martins for us to know that, but it's really good because then we know when they're gonna hatch and when they're gonna leave the gourds as well. So at sunrise? Yes, always at sunrise. So when we check them, um, we know that uh, one egg had just been laid that morning. Okay. So I've got one more I'd like to show you. Okay, one yeah, more gourd I'd like to check with okay. you. All right. Right around this way. Okay. Okay, so same thing, you don't want to look inside. Right. And as you as we're looking at these, you probably notice some of them look a little bit different. Okay. And the reason is there's different predator guards. Okay. One of the most important thing if you're going to have a purple martin colony is to make sure you protect it. And the best way to do that is adding predator guards. Okay. So we've got predator guards for ground predators like raccoons and snakes. Okay. Um, this is just uh, bird netting. If you put that around there, snakes can't get through it. So got we've it. actually caught a few snakes trying to get so in the So they just colony. get tangled in it. Okay. Exactly. Got it. Okay. You'll see some bars yeah, overhanging. Yeah, I wondered about that. Yeah, okay. so these are for aerial predators, things like hawks and owls. They can stick their foot right there and grab a bird or a young bird. So these actually give them a little bit of space so the birds can't get that close okay. to the entrance. Okay. And then lastly, the entrance holes. Um, the entrance holes are to prevent starlings and sometimes house sparrows from getting into your gourds. Got it, okay. Because they'll go in there and try to make nests or something exactly. like that? Exactly, and they will okay. kill the young birds and sometimes even the adults. Okay, let me ask you about this one. Is this Sure. So um, this is really interesting. So this colony has been here for over 10 years. And when we first started, we had four active nests okay. and we had gourds all like this. Well, unfortunately, these ones, like I talked about, where predators were able to get in there. Okay. Um, and so we started retrofitting them over the last 10 years, slowly changing and adding predator guards. Mm. Chris, this year we have 33 active nests. We have over 120 eggs. Um, some of them have already hatched, um, but we had a, over 120 eggs. So this that's year. the most that you all ever had? It is. Oh, this is the most that? for our colony. Nice. So check out this one. Oh, what the, I, oh my gosh. Look at so that. this is just a look one day that. old. This one yeah, just hatched one yesterday. Day. Oh my goodness. How about that? I've never seen one that small before. And he's got old. three other uh, siblings in there as well. So one of the reasons that we check the purple martin gourds, because a lot of people think, well, aren't you bothering the birds? Yeah. Aren't they going to abandon the nest? And with all the research that's been done, colonies that are monitored or checked on a regular basis okay. are more successful or they fledge more young birds leave the nest than okay. ones that aren't monitored. 
We can uh, find out things like predation, so okay. predators. Um, we can uh, starlings or house sparrows if they're getting into our yeah. nest. If we have something like nest mites or parasites, those are things that by checking it, we can find and address those problems before they become an issue. So how often do you check? So we're checking our gourds every five to seven days. At around day 26 or 27, okay. the birds are able to fledge or leave the gourd or leave the nest. Right. But sometimes if they get spooked a few days before that, they might leave the nest early before okay. they're able to fly. And so by putting a plug in it that has a long string that we can pull out once the gourd's at the top, those birds aren't gonna um, fly, a little, come out of the nest a couple days early. Okay, so when do they start flying? So really they're going to start flying around day 26 or day 27 um, and that's when they're going to leave cool. the nest and that's it. They don't return back to the nest. Wow. And that's it. That's it. Yeah. So they probably don't like that we're here right now, do they? Or they probably don't they understand that we're bit? doing, we're trying to help the colony. <laughs> but um, as soon as we put it back up, they're going back in, feeding their young, incubating okay. eggs if they still have eggs. Okay. Got it. So let me ask you this and I know you talked about this before. So what do they eat? Great question. Okay. Purple martins are insectivores. insectivores they're only okay. eating insects and they're only eating flying insects. <laughs> Almost everything they do is in the air, even getting water. If you watch really? purple martins, they'll fly really low over water and just dip their mouths in and get a little bit of water. Okay. They're also catching insects as the insects are flying as well. So good mosquito control maybe? Well, I don't know how many mosquitoes they're eating. Yeah. They're definitely eating a lot of insects, but a lot okay. of times they're going for big bugs. Big, bugs. Okay. big payoff because they've got young, they've got to feed. It's not to say they won't eat mosquitoes, but they're looking for the best payoff for them. Okay. What about survival rate? How, how long do they live? That's a great question. So, um, you know, for any young bird, the first year is always hard. Yeah. For these birds, yeah. they're migrating all the way down to, say, Brazil. Really? Um, so, and then coming back again around late February. Okay. Um, so that's a really tough for a first year bird. So first year survival rate for most birds isn't very high. If they can survive their first year, sometimes they can live to be seven or eight years old. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Those same birds are gonna be coming back to the same colony. They come back to the same colony year after year. So they know how to do that. Yeah, so if you attract purple martins, if you have a colony, it's important to maintain that colony because the same birds are coming back to use it every okay. year. Every year. Every year. Okay, so is it best to have you know, gourds like this or? So you have options. Okay. Yeah, so um, I like the gourds. Okay. I definitely want something that you can open to check and also be able to take down and clean at the end of the season. Ah, okay. But there are other styles. There are apartment or condo styles. <laughs> as long as you can op open those and they have predator guards okay. on them, you're good to go with those as well. Yeah, predator guards, very important. Predator guards, really important. Can't say enough about those. How about that. I think it's so neat that we get a chance to do this. Absolutely. And of course, they're just flying around us. Like, they what are. are you doing the here? sound is great <laughs> I too. I like it. And they're really fun to watch. I think it is good. Well, Mary, we thank you so much for this. This is actually pretty cool. Yeah, pretty thanks cool. for coming out. Thank you much. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please click the subscribe button below.